Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Bits and Banter. And typically, we are gathered to discuss about a match last night which that happened with the winning team we, uh, triumphing with, uh, eight, in eight wickets. We are talking about England versus uh, Sri Lanka T20. Sorry, I'm not kidding. Uh, I mean, <laughs> by the way, that happened if, in case any, any of you didn't know that. We are actually gathered to discuss the World Test Championship final where New Zealand <coughs> deservedly won the title, beating India eventually convincingly by eight wickets. Raj, not much at all. I'll come to you straight away. But do you think India lost the match? Don't all say because of rain. <laughs> no, no, all because Don't of rain. Don't tell me at the We lost that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, I'm saying all because of rain. If the rain hadn't been there, we would have probably lost ba even badly. I don't know. I, so, <laughs> I mean, we'll, I mean let so, me make it very clear. There is going to be plenty of dark humor. Because whenever yes. India loses, humor comes out. So, go yeah. ahead, Raj. Yeah. Yeah, so, so for me, the thing was that uh, I, I think uh, my favorite tech topic, where was Mohamed Siraj? So, I mean, done and dusted, I think he should have been there in the team. Uh, he was the only swing bowler. Uh, other fellows were not swinging anything. So, and the New Zealand bowlers, I think, were a better, uh, I mean, they proved themselves to be better. They took 20 wickets and do it, did it pretty easily. To me, that was, I think, the uh, game set and match. Yeah, the four uh, bowlers in matches. We all, yeah. Team Southie, Neil Wagner and uh, Trent Bolt. They were terrible. Yeah, they the took. Other. Yeah, they picked four bowlers. All four were different type of bowlers, and all four hit the. I mean, hit the straps right from day one. I, probably there was just one one session or one uh, in between where Rahane and uh, uh, Kohli, the captain, were playing. Kohli were playing. Other than that, I think they were in complete control. So bowlers win matches. Lala Amarnath said that. I'm repeating it. Lala Amarnath. India <laughs> India's yeah. first test, test engineer, man. You, I mean, you yeah. are right in uh, invoking him. I mean, Bharat, I'll go, go to you and ask you the question the other way around, which is what uh, normally a host do. Where did New Zealand win the match? <laughs> I think they won, uh, uh, going by what Raj says, they won the match by uh, getting the playing level right, first of all. So, once when they got five seamers and five were bowling in right places, four, four, man. Four, I believe four, they... Uh, I mean, I mean, oh, sorry, you are also including Grand Ormond. Okay. Fine. Uh, yeah. Speaking grand <laughs> <grander> ones. <laughs> he, he doesn't include himself, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, took the grand home, man. At a time when you want to, when you want to pick ball on India, let's pick everything from New Zealand. See, yeah, like no. five seamers, <laughs> from, five seamers yeah. from uh, New Zealand. But the point is, see, we lost the plot on the, the second day from 146 for three to getting out at 219 was the biggest uh, uh, crime. That to your, your captain and vice captain of the then again, okay, the bowling was kind of okay with the without Siraj or whatever it is. You get them bundled out for two for ten is again fine. But the last day you should have had your plan. See, even if it is a draw, the uh, the maze would have been chat. But I wonder why they went out for one that that the way Pant played and kind of Jadeja's batting in between. I was like puzzled. See, guys, this is this is for, for which you have been fighting for two years. The opportunity is there to lift it. You, you can just block it because you have been losing wickets at another end. And the way they went about was haraki. I mean, it's stupid. I, I, I was clueless the, the way they batted, especially close to the lunch and after the lunch, their batting looked like one. I was I, I was feeling like I was seeing a club match where they, they, were, they were wanting to force a result that was not at all necessary. That's what I felt. Yeah. Raj, just to pick a point from what Bharat said, I mean, the Indian batting uh, on the evidence of the last day, it was neither here nor there. See, uh, what on level, there was no intention. Uh, I mean, there were a few players who just let their bat outside quite limply. And a few others, they, they were just going for leather. There is no one clear plan. Is That was what one of the allegations that uh, Bharat makes. Do you concur with that? I think so. I agree. Because I think somewhere, uh, I mean, after the uh, uh, the Australia, the Gabba, Gabba toy or whatever it is, <laughs> uh, I think we believe that we can win everything. And it is almost like, okay, we'll we'll put 180 on the board or 200 on the board in double quick time and we'll try to take the wickets. Good intent. But the point is, do you have the manpower, the, the resources for it? That is the question. Because you have lost the, uh, I mean, you lost uh, Pujara and uh, Kohli very early. So, uh, I mean, I thought they should have just put down the shutters then. Bharat has a valid point. I don't think there was very any clarity on what these guys were trying to do. So, uh, suddenly, I mean, uh, this guy, Rishabh Pant, was batting decently and suddenly he started going all over the place as if he got an invite from or he was he was 
Ravi Shastri. Imagine Ravi Shastri telling, "Go for it, boy." <laughs> like that. I mean, and these these guys went and uh, did something which nobody but, understood. Uh, Rishabh Pant. I mean, I didn't have a problem with Rishabh Pant, but over the course of last two years, we entered the WTC series. The Indian batting is kind of underperformed, except for uh, Rahane and uh, Hanuman Vihari. No other batsman has scored a century outside of India. <laughs> and if you look yeah, at the stats, the record, yeah. uh, and uh, if you look at the average, except for Rohit Sharma, which is in the 60s, the rest were uh, all in the 40s. And if you take away the home matches, even Rohit Sharma's batting average comes around to 40. So, that, I mean, it, that clearly shows the bat. I mean, none of them was in the 50s. Uh, in terms of average, that clearly shows the batting has not been firing in the way that you want it to. So we kind of see our bowling has kind of masked the area, I mean, weak areas in the batting. So somebody like Kohli has not scored an international century for uh, around two, two years. So that is kind of uh, worrying for India. Don't you think, Bharat? Yeah, of course, yes. The point with India, the major worry for me with the Indian team is See, you are a professional cricketer, you are a bunch of guys who have played very well two years. See, first learn to respect the conditions. If, if the players are not going to respect the conditions in which you are playing, and you feel that you have a team, you have a bunch of boys who can emerge far more superior than the conditions, then you haven't studied the game properly. See, not include, two, including two seamers was the first major uh, 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 bad decision that they made. And secondly, the way they pace their innings on the last day of that wicket again shows they haven't respected the innings, I mean, uh, the conditions uh, well. And again, as far as the batting is concerned, see, one thing was very clear yesterday. You bowl outside the option, a shot or, uh, or uh, the ball that is that's looping up, it was, it, was, it was juicy stuff for Indians to go give their wickets and come back. Rather than they bowling very well at the wicket, you just check out the wickets that, uh, that fell even during the first innings now. They intimidated us and you went and gave, gifted away I mean, your wickets, basically. The problem with Indians yesterday was they were on double mind. See, whether to block the balls or whether to go for a win. See, at the end of the day, you fooled yourself and you fooled your fans because they had major expectations on a bunch of guys who can perform really well. And uh, see, you, you may say they did it in Gabba, they did it in uh, uh, Chennai. See, that's a different case. In England, you're playing for a final. There should be more responsibility. It's like it's, it's like you're taking your final examinations. Forget about your uh, 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 the, the quarterly or offerly exams that you generally uh, take in your schools and you emerge first. The point is you're writing your uh, final exams. At the end of it, everybody is going to ask you what mark you got or what grade you got in that. And you, when you're going to flunk in that, whatever you did it in your uh, in your uh, the lower exams goes for a toss. No use. So obviously, and now I've I've started reading. I've started reading uh, uh, social media posts saying. Should uh, Rohit replace Kohli? The, the debates have already been. I yeah, know that's the question I was getting to. Raj, I'll come to you. You have been, I mean, not just here, I mean, not on the evidence of this so final, because you have been a, kind of a critic of Kohli's captaincy. And yesterday, I mean, we were also discussing on our WhatsApp group should Kohli have been much more authoritative in bringing Ashwin? especially right at the start because you had two left-handed openers and Ashwin, when he was brought in, he immediately stuck. So, should Ashwin, I mean, I kind of got the feeling that Ashwin was in the entire match was underbowled. Even yesterday, he had just 10 overs. Especially, he was the most menacing of the bowlers on view yesterday. So, and even when the two right-handers were batting, Kohli was slightly late in bringing Jadu. Jadu, of course, didn't bowl, so it kind of indicated Kohli's uh, idea. But in general, he was slightly behind the eight ball, uh, at least on the evidence of this match. What is What are your thoughts, Raj? I agree to that. See, for me, I think Bharat made a very valid point about getting the correct 11 on the field. See, in my mind, if, you are not, if Jadeja is going to be an all-rounder, he needs to be all-round, right? Yesterday, he proved himself to be a bits and pieces guy. He actually gave Sanjay Manjrekar a stick to beat him with, again. <laughs> I mean, Hanuma Vihari would have been a better bet in that case because he's a, he's a, he's a uh, pedigreed batsman. So, imagine a scenario where Hanuma Vihari was batting again instead of Jadeja at the end. I mean, you remember the Hanuma Vihari, Lakshman, not Lakshman, Ashwin, he's Ashwin. right? Ashwin. Sydney, at Sydney. Yeah, so, Sydney, yeah. So, I mean, at least you have that, you have the credentials. So, like Bharat said, you need to respect the conditions. Who are the people who need, you need in your team? Now, Jadeja, to me, is not a replacement for Pandya. In that category, if that is what in the these guys want. the conditions that, that are is, available. In any conditions. 
Pandya is a Pandya, Jadeja is Jadeja. Let us accept that. And Jadeja, uh, I mean, clicks. See, he can do two things well. He can tie one end up, which was not the requirement because you only had 130, 40 runs to play with. There is no tying and anything, anything up there. You needed to take wickets. So, like Bala, you said, I mean, if I were, go, I were, I were there, I mean, I would have bowled Shami from one end and a spinner from the other end, all through, right from the beginning, I would have done that. And if you notice, uh, I mean, all those heats that we have plucked out in many matches, it has been not under Kohli's captaincy, but under somebody else's captaincy. There is a general, this thing which we tend to forget. But having said that, is it reason for removing him? I don't know, because if you have given him the charge, he needs to get better at it. That's all I would say. I mean, I mean, uh, that's the way I see it. The one, uh, one, one match. See, if that is the case, then you say, you know what? Let me make the other person captain and make it a long spell. It can't be uh, next match Kohli wins. Imagine, I mean, August uh, in August, the first test match between India, and England and India, Kohli wins, everything is forgotten. That is the way we function in this country. There's no consistency. Yeah, but, I mean, we need. I mean, let's let not get too recriminatory against you because yeah. I personally felt uh, Jadeja's, Jadeja's inclusion in the eleven was kind of valid because we went in with the best eleven that was available to us. See, just I mean, uh, Jasprit Bumrah had a uh, kind of an off match, which is kind of understandable. He has delivered. I didn't have much of a problem with the selection level. It is just that the approach. As you guys have been pointed out, it was confusing because it was neither here nor there. It was neither one thing nor the other. But in the aftermath of a bitter defeat, our postmortem tends to be slightly more uh, acerbic than it generally it needs to be. So yeah, let's yeah. also hold our views because let's not get too sweeping in our criticism also. Because uh, we have been there in the finals. Australia, England, and uh, Pakistan, they have not been able to manage them. So, let's also give this team a little bit of credit. But there needs yes, to see, be some, some sir, questions asked yeah. about where Kohli's captaincy has such. See, and, in my uh, mind, it is a num yeah, it's a num it's 11 that matters, Bala. At the end of the day, like Bharat pointed out, key the Kiwis got their 11 right. That's it. To me, you have a seeming, a seem, seem friendly, seeming wicket. The only seamer, I mean, in fact, I don't know whether uh, uh, who's the other guy, our... Uh, uh, Mumbai Kar, uh, what's his name? Shardul Thakur. Shardul Thakur. I don't know, but he's not a seamer. I think he's also a hit the deck bowler. They hit the if deck you think deck. about it, yeah, if you think about it, see, Bumrah having an off day, I don't mind. You are right about it. My point is that somebody who's actually your key seeming and seeming seeming bowler, seam bowler, who can actually swing it and swing and seam it the either way, he's sitting the, on in the, I mean in the trenches. I to me that was dumb. And I think yesterday, like somebody said in our group, I think it was more to do with seniority prevails. Like we have in our offices, seniority prevails. Uh, Ishan Sharma is senior bowler. He needs to play boss. I mean, Ishan can't... was pretty impressive in the first place. He was the one who got uh, Kane Williamson out in the first place. He's and... a bala. My problem is he's a he is not an attacking bowler anymore. He is actually a line and length bowler. He just sticks with, the to the line and length. He will take that... wickets. Yeah, he will take wickets. He, I mean, he started bowling up only now, which is fine. He will take wickets. But he's not a guy who can run through a run through a, 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 a an opposition lineup. He doesn't have the pace anymore. Just like another point I'll make. Bharat made a fantastic point. I mean, the Kiwis were actually intimidating us with what 135 kilometers an hour speed. Exactly. Right? They were not bowling 160, 150, 135 kilometers. Is here. That is where I think India lost. In my mind, it was not here. I don't think they were playing. I mean, they were uh, trying to get batsmen out or setting batsmen up with a certain type of bowling. Yeah, That is uh, where they uh, went from. Kiwis were also slightly lucky in the sense they had a two-match preparation against England in which when they won one of the that matches. Is, they kind of much more acclimatized and the bowlers were in the group. Because Bharat, so, I mean, Raj, we also discussed in our pre-match the discussion and Bharat and I also discussed it one of, on one of the days. So, in that sense, Kiwi were slight. I mean, we are discussed that Bharat. I mean, they were, they had the advantage going into the match itself, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. See, uh, there, there's nothing like you prepare yourself for the exams on going for again and coming back to the exams. Well, that's a different case. I mean, <laughs> the point is, see, they were a bit prepared. They knew the conditions. Nothing like being on the field and uh, uh, and testing the uh, conditions yourself rather than playing a simulation. See, India actually had a simulation test wherein you are put in an imaginary situation and you were asked to practice. When Kohli came to bat, maybe it was... 30 for 3 Kohli, you start batting. That's how they practice. So that's why we didn't get a proper scoreboard also, I mean, for the practice matches that India had. But the point is, at the end of the day, you're all professional. You're all these countries very well. 
so you should have been ready for everything and now to say that they had practiced and we didn't that's yeah. a different story but the point is we can try to justify that in many ways but we have names which have got bags and bags of runs and goodies of wickets behind them so at the end of the day even when you are uh, uh, i mean uh, fast asleep wake you get up put your shoes in the morning ask you to uh, go and bowl you have to take wickets that's why you have been paid your profits the cricket has gone on those days when you play for one season and you just sit home uh, and again go back for another year 360 days you play cricket you have to be physically fit mentally strong go deliver the stock because 130 uh, crore of people have huge expectations on you your there is tremendous pressure on your shoulders it is almost the biggest game that we follow we are so much passionate about cricket so you have to deliver and it is on you you should deliver it simple and if they know that they have to do it whether it is a flat track whether it is a bullying track whether it's a seeming spinning track you have 11 composition is that they have to contribute they have to deliver things and they have to win for you i may sound very lethal i may sound very brutal but the point is i, I, I have a point i have to get on that I, well, i'll just pick on what bharat said this is like saying going to the exam and saying oh sir out of syllabus question sir i couldn't answer sir <laughs> i gave so, an exam i see exam so i just wanted to end on that we can't have out of syllabus scenarios bala i mean to be honest i mean by your logic we should first say india starts as overseas series 01 because first match we are not playing we don't know the conditions <laughs> So okay, since we are not we'll one match, match second, <laughs> I mean, I'll just take. I mean, before we wind up, I'll just ask you one final question, Raj. Kohli yeah. mentioned that the finals of uh, World Test Championship should be off at least uh, three matches. Your views on that? I mean, one a pure one off doesn't work. Your final thoughts on that before we wind up? <laughs> I mean, if you play a five one, then that way, let us first start with having a three match T Twenty World Cup final year. It will be over in three days. This will be over in fifteen days, man. I mean, what are we you talking about? Man. Why? Why fifteen? If they are no, I mean, days, imagine if they. No, no, imagine. No. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so I'll leave it there. One day matches and T20s can be over in three days. We are talking about playing test matches over fifteen days. I don't know what he is talking about. What he is smoking now. <laughs> anyway, so, the note uh, we learned that it has been. But you asked Bharat also, no? <laughs> ask Bharat also what he thinks. <laughs> I mean, I know. What that. do you think? <laughs> uh, he knows the answer. I know. Yeah, uh, sir, sir knows what I'm <laughs> replying for that because because after yesterday's defeat, I'm cynical on everything. I am kind of reserved on everything. So, sir knows my. <laughs> On the okay. note, we'll end the discussion on WTC and we'll get back to discuss about the WTC again, which is Wimbledon Tennis Championship. Anyway, Championship. thanks for and, coming. And, <laughs> and we will wish our Indian team a happy vacation. Happy which is what they're going to do for the next days. 40 days. Yeah. yeah. I hope they prepare. I hope they prepare. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are a professional. For the first Bharat said they, yeah, yeah. they should be. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, thanks, guys. Thanks, Bala. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank thank See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.